Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last video, we went to the town of Ustenheim, and we also started looking for secrets. And we managed to find a few. But now we need to head to the north. Because that's where we're going to find more things that we can do. And in order to do that, we have to take this path. You're actually forced to take this path, believe it or not. You could leap from up here, but unfortunately the game doesn't let you. So I just do it this way. Now we're going to push these boulders out of the way. Thankfully we have the strength to do it. And we can move past the tree here. And I actually want to get the flame sword out. Because we are going to need it for what we're going to run into in just a moment. There's these scarecrows. The crows damage you if allowed to do so. But they have a very limited range. Now, thankfully, the flame sword can get rid of the enemies here very quickly. At least, they can get rid of the scarecrows very quickly. Assuming that I'm able to face them and hit them. Which is sometimes easier said than done. But... We can do it. I might as well do it. To get the things that are here. I just now need that crow out of the way. So I can get those things. And then... Instead of going north... We're going to take the other road that we can take. And to do that we need the lupine form. So we need to transfer him into the werewolf and then get up here. And thankfully you can lap this thing's head off with your attack. And we just triggered not one but two secrets with what we have just done. Now, before I go to the north, there are some things that I want to do. For instance, I want to get my axe out and cut the tree down. If I can do it. Thank you, game. And then I want to make my way back to the village. Now, if I'm thinking straight here, and I know what I'm doing, one, I can unequip my axe and then use my hearts of darkness to heal myself and then two I should be able to go in here and control this guy's mind And if I can do that, I can sacrifice this guy for the Hearts of Darkness that I would like to get my hands on. Now, I might as well try this as a little bit of an experiment. 
Although this guy moves pretty slowly. Well, we're going to make that slow walk up to this. So, you come to the Spirit Board for help, do you, Vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I mean. Now, we've sacrificed this guy. And I believe we've got our items back. But does it kill them? It kills the man. It kills the man. But we do have our hearts back. And I might as well go ahead and delete these from my list. These secrets. And I actually have quite a few takers. In case I need to do this. In case I ever run low on Hearts of Darkness. I can always do this. Just... Possess a human, take it to the forge, and just get 99 of the Hearts of Darkness. That's the idea anyway, and I don't even have to uh, shed my own blood to do that. But anyway, we need to go north. And... What do I want to do? I'm actually considering using the magic that I have. Vorador's signet ring. Antitoxin. Vorador's signet ring. Oh, I forgot about the signet ring. Turning the ring over in my hands, I realized that it was crafted from some strange alloy formed from broken teeth, ground down and soaked in blood. Interesting. I forgot to show that off. And now I want to get the imploder spell equipped because of the enemies that we are going to meet here. Because they could give me a hard time. Um, I'll replace the flays. Implode. I'll replace uh, the flays with implode. Because implode will do a lot really. Implode will do a lot of damage, and it's good to see that the flame sword is equipped too. It's a good thing that I have that equipped, because I may need that against the enemies that are here too. And from here, I want to equip Implode and use it on these enemies. If necessary. Now these enemies will push you back quite a bit. However, Implode will basically get rid of them very quickly, as you can see. The big slug enemies will spit poison at you, and they can poison your blood and make it green, forcing you to use an antidote. As for the guys that shoot spikes at you, they can push you back quite a bit. The poor wretch was warped beyond recognition. To think it was once human. And yeah, you just want to approach these guys that shoot the spikes out in eight directions from a rather odd angle. That way you can set it ablaze with the fire sword and do it without get great risk to yourself. Such strange creatures that have been spawned by this dark magic. Things half insect and half mammal. Human torsos grafted onto abominations of the flesh. Sick as it was, I couldn't help but admire its creator's ingenuity. And apparently our friend Kane has a sick twisted appreciation for the enemies that we're fighting right now. Um, there is a cave here. I want to enter it very quickly. Because if I remember correctly, I think there may be a secret here. I'm not sure. But I do remember going in here.
let's see what's over here before we continue on. The of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. I definitely will. Your magic energy recovers more quickly for our blood enhances. And our magic energy recovers faster than ever now, which is fantastic. It's a good thing I went over here. We may need that. Anyway, it's time to pull out the flame sword. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. Leave the blood fountain and then take on these evil things again. And yeah, that's why I don't exactly want to take these things head on because they can poison your blood. Thankfully, I have more than enough antidotes for such an occasion, for just such a dilemma. But of course, in order to go forward, we will need to use the axe again, so that is exactly what I am going to do. And apparently pressing start as soon as I change the weapon, at least on the screen there, gives me that glitch, which is actually kind of nice. So, let us go further here. And that's still not what I wanted. Thankfully, I know where I can get some antidotes if need be. And I may have to take advantage of that. Oh, here we go. This cave. This thing's gonna attack us with flames, but we can eventually take it down with the flame sword. And once again, we keep our distance. We grab some antidotes. And we don't want to be knocked into the lava because that will hurt us no matter what. And right there is a zombie-like enemy that I can take advantage of. I need to be able to control his mind, though. And I just hit him. And this switch that I just hit in the corner, that triggers a secret. And now to get rid of him. Because we don't need him anymore. And by hitting that switch, this Pentalic of Tarot card is finally ours. So we can get that if we want. And I wonder, can I use Aegis around here? I hope I can. I'll try that. Let's see what happens. Well, he's not hurting us. So, that's cool. That'll allow us to slash these huge bulbous things, whatever they may be, with the flame sword. But now we're going to have to get rid of it because I need to use the axes again to get past the trees. You'll be seeing more trees as you go through here. and just keep following the path. And sadly, you are going to have to press start, switch to the axe, destroy the trees, press start, go back to your original weapon, and then go back on your merry way. I wish there was a quick select for weapons, but sadly, we don't have that in this game. That's probably one, one main gripe with the controls here. But anyway, we might as well get past these guys. And it looks like we're getting our magic back pretty quickly as we go through this area. 
And I might as well remove this for my secrets list. And if we go in here, we'll find a flask with blood in it. All right. Let's get the flame sword back out. And I believe for what I want to do here, I want to equip Control Mind. Now, how quickly is my magic going to refill? I'd love to know. I'm going to take a good look at it. See what happens here. Well, I can take a look at that symbol there. Okay. Looking good. And I want to keep seeing how quickly... Wow. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. It goes up two, then it suddenly goes up one, and then it goes two and one again. It be said that a land descended into madness could be an accurate account of Dark Eden. A garden of horrors seeded with sick perversion of nature's design. I knew that this Dark Eden I had trespassed upon would continue to grow until all of Nosgoth was consumed. And... Let us get past these creatures. And there is a gate to the west there. Might as well go ahead and use the map to look at that. There is a gate there, and much like the one that leads to the uh, Spirit Forge for the Heart of Darkness, that gate only opens during a full moon. So we will have to go back there during a full moon and also when we can push this boulder because apparently we don't have the strength to do it and let us use the axes to slash that enemy and this one too because we will be seeing some werewolves as well and I might as well keep the axes equipped because it will make things a little easier to do around here. We'll make it a little easier to get around in places. And get some stuff. And also get some details on things. Magic seized and shifted. I watched the dome of energy as it expanded, absorbing and recreating, consuming life and leaving behind only a twisted parody. And this Dark Eden place that we're going to sure is evil. Just reminds me of the Malevolator in Toonstruck with just how the ground is just turning into whatever this is. That was a fun Let's Play. But anyway, I want to get the flame sword equipped, so that way I'll be a little more prepared for what we're going to do here. I pass through the wall unharmed. It seemed the magic only preyed on things that were alive and pure. Or perhaps it simply decided that I was twisted enough. And now we have a human enemy again. That's interesting. I want to get the iron sword out and get some health off of this guy. Because that would be good. Uh, I wanted to get some health off of him, but I didn't know it would take seven hits from the Iron Sword to kill him. 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I have another chance here. We might as well do it. Might as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it with him. Oh, it became dark. Well, I have another shot with this creature. Whatever it may be. Just keep moving back. And we'll eventually kill it. Of course, it would be nice if we were able to get health off of the enemies here, but sadly we could not. And, hmm, well, we, we're going to have to use the flame sword to get past these enemies because I can't imagine getting health off of them. But I do want to keep Control Mind equipped too. because of what we're going to be doing around here. Now there are some human enemies. We can take advantage of them to hit some switches and by hitting some switches we'll be able to get able to get around here a little more safely. And hmm. Well, I could use that. Let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, it made more sense to do it this way. Let's just do it this way. And it should be going by now. There we go. And now... Well, perhaps not just yet then. For now, I do want to take advantage of the enemies that are here. And try to get some health out of them. I was going to try to use... I was going to say use Control Mind. But these guys are now start, starting to come at me. And they're making this very easy for me. Get out of here, you. And don't worry about being able to go into the houses because you can't. And there's some stuff here as well. Might as well set everybody on fire that I can. Now, oh, there are a lot of enemies around here. Well, I will definitely add to the body count that I'm creating here, but... I do still want to hit people with the flame sword. And it doesn't seem to be working because of the angle in which I have to do all this. There we go. And if there's any thing that I'm leaving behind is because it's the flay, and I have 99 of those. Alright. Get this. And as much as I would like to take that guy's blood and make it part of my own, maybe I still can. Maybe I still can. Let us control his mind instead and hit the switch. And, well, I tried to hit him. But hitting that switch made it so that we could get rid of that lava that was in our way and make it easier to get over here. And I might as well absorb this enemy's blood, too.
All right. Now, there should be another enemy that we can control with mind control. But first, I'm going to take some of his blood. And then I'm going to do the whole mind control thing. If only I had the health to do it. Or the magic, rather. Well, that's okay. We have energy bank. We can do it this way. And from here... We can get this guy right at the switch, which is something that I like. And we can see what's up ahead, too. A little bit, anyway. But our energy will go all the way back down. And I'm eventually going to have to use another energy bank. That's okay. That'll give me... some ability... to get this guy's health... Control his mind. Hit this switch. And then we should be able to go north. That's the plan anyway. Now, our magic will go back to zero. But, we'll be able to go to the north. And take care of a few things while there. And one of the things that we'll be able to look at is this cave as well as the surrounding area. A tower stood in the distance. From its apex spewed the vortex of energy that shaped the lands below. And that tower, I'm assuming that's where we need to go next. This is Dark Eden. And we are going to have to go through this tower if we want to continue with our journey. And of course, by sending the enemies on fire on the way here, we can enter... through that little tower right there. That's the plan. However, there is something that I would like to get my hands on. Well, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. It's hard to tell. But I would like to look through here a little bit to see if there's anything that I can trigger. The reason I mention this is because, ow, there is, there is a cave right here, but we can't seem to enter it. So maybe we have to do something in Dark Eden first if we wanna go through here and save our game. For right now though, I do want to go into Dark Eden and then go ahead and call it a video. After setting everything on fire, of course. Hey, you stay away from me. And here we are in Dark Eden. It looks like we have a means of entering places such as this doorway and that leads to a spire which is something I do want to get to. So we might as well go ahead and save our game here. That's awesome. We we're able to save our game right there, right away. Because Dark Eden is going to be a heck of a thing to get through. And I want to make sure that I can get through it. But that will have to wait 
until the next video. So join me next time where I explore Dark Eden and see what we need to do next. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!